All right, two weeks now into the expanding search for a missing 14 year old girl from Monroe County and federal and local authorities are now pushing their request for the public's help even more. Savannah Lee Pruitt's parents devastated describing the depth of pain their daughter's absence has left them with while begging the public for any tips on where she might be. New here at 530 WHB 6 on your side's Gabriella Pagan has been following this case closely, speaking with all of the agencies involved today. She joins us now live here in the studio with more on why law enforcement waited two weeks before bringing in the family to call that news conference. And Gabriella, who will be flying in tomorrow to now join in this investigation? Thank you, Kristen. Well, just to start off with those two weeks, that was so that investigators could follow every lead possible before reaching out to the media and then, of course, you, the public, for assistance. That was to help the investigation. We're now going into week three of the mysterious disappearance of 14-year-old Savannah Lee Pruitt. I just got off the phone with the lead investigator on this case in Madisonville, trying to get an update on Pruitt. Unfortunately, there's no new information about her disappearance, which is why two special agents, one with the FBI and one with the TBI, will come together tomorrow. This is all along with a cell phone analysis expert who will be flying in from Ohio to go over everything they've gathered so far. Remember, there's 2,000 pages of cell phone documents. This is to try and pinpoint when and where Savannah first disappeared, what areas she may have passed and traveled through up until the point her cell phone was shut off. This is a look at what we do know about the night she went missing. She was last seen on the night of January 13th around 11 p.m. Overnight into the early hour mornings, early morning hours of the 14th was when her family noticed she was missing from her upstairs bedroom. That was around 4 a.m. I spoke with law enforcement earlier today. The Pruitt family lives on around 30 acres on top of a hill, which leaves many questions about how the 14 year old vanished essentially from her home in the middle of the night and made it as far as she did without assistance or anyone noticing. Now that same morning where she disappeared, at around 530 then was the last time her cell phone was pinged before it was shut off and that was in the Corbin, Kentucky area. The Pruitt family had just moved back to Madisonville from Lawrenceville, Georgia in late December. Savannah is still classified as a missing person, not an endangered child. The reason for that is a lack of evidence at this time to prove that she is in danger. Those are the prerequisites set by the TBI for issuing an endangered child alert or an Amber alert. About an hour ago, I got off the phone with another agent, a special agent, Jason Pack with the Knoxville FBI. While the Monroe County Sheriff's Office is still the lead agency, the FBI can provide technical and investigative resources, especially since the victim's phone was last known to be in a different state. Now, with field offices around the country, the FBI can and will help coordinate any leads that come from out of the state of Tennessee. Bo, Kristen. All right, Gabby, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and take another look at Savannah. Everyone stop. We are doing look at your screen. The 14 year old is around 53. She weighs 110 pounds and has blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, there is no last known clothing description. So again, please contact the sheriff's office if you have seen her or have any information. 423-442-3911. That's 423-442-HELP. Or you can contact the TBI at 1-800-TBI-FIND.